and the government through the tourism ministry is looking to implement an open sky policy to attract tourist numbers to Kenya as the country targets 3 million tourists by the year 2018. While this is a good move, it could affect revenue returns for national carrier Kenya Airways as uh, this could mean reduction in ticket pricing. undeniably one of Kenya's foreign exchange honor, but in the past three years dwindled with numbers dropping from 1.8 million in 2011 to about 778, 771 visitors in 2015. Even as the government fights to revamp the sector, still faces a number of challenges. One of the hurdles is linked to the National Carrier Kenya Airways and attractive flights tickets that the tourism ministry says to deal with, Kenya must initiate the suggested open sky policy. While this move might hurt financial returns for the airline, it is paramount to increasing tourist number to Kenya. Kenya Airways need, really need to shape up in terms of pricing, in terms of getting their routes to the tourism destinations. The open sky policy is one of the attractive products being marketed by Kenya in addition to upgrading infrastructure to suit today's tourist needs and expectations. We need to increase the number of airlines into the country and we need to create the region to have an open sky policy. Turnaround time at the major airports has been a tedious experience for some tourists and suggestions have been made on implementing e-visa system but the challenge is now the language translation for visiting and transit tourists. Despite the 18% increase in tourist numbers seen in January and February, ironing out pricing of tourist products and services, upgrading hotels and new innovations will strongly determine if 3 million tourists by 2018 is level target or far from reach. Ashley Mazuri, KTN.